This is country singer Lori Morgan trying to find the words. There are no words. I mean, I've, I've gone through everything that Keith would be feeling that I feel like I knew pretty well. Keith is her late husband, Keith Whitley, who died of alcohol poisoning in May 1989 at age 33. He became a member of the Country Music Hall of Fame on Sunday. He would feel so undeserving. You have to recognize what it took for Lori to stand up there and accept that medallion as her kids, including her son, Jesse Keith Whitley, watched from the audience. My whole family, we've all missed him together. All the fans who love Keith and visit his gravesite all the time. I'm sorry, I wasn't gonna do this. It's Billy Dukes, and show Lori some love in the comments section below. Double up if you've lost a spouse or a loved one. They were married for less than three years, but she surely knew him better than anyone else. She also knows why he is deserving. But people who love him, and it's because they want his music played, that he's remembered. And I thank all of you who are here tonight, loving Keith and remembering him, especially Dwight. Dwight is Keith's brother, who was in the crowd as well, Tap thumbs up and subscribe if you appreciate country music greats getting some love in 2022. We'll keep bringing it as long as you keep watching. The first part of Laurie's speech was a tribute to her late husband's love of the Hall of Famers in attendance. Garth Brooks did the honors of presenting the award, and he also sang. Randy Travis, Hank Williams Jr., Alabama, Marty Stewart, and more were in attendance watching, perhaps even reaching for their own tissues. I want to mention one person tonight. Because, because of that person, I heard Keith sing for, for the first time on the radio. Lori would remember hearing Keith's song Miami, My Amy on the radio as she was driving to the Grand Old Opry nearly 40 years ago. And I pulled my car off of Briley Parkway and I sat there and I thought, I'm in love with that man. As it turns out, Keith was playing the Opry that night too. Lori hauled butt when the radio DJ announced that fact. I said, I am going to get a chance to meet this man tonight. Uh, and I did. And he asked me out that night. And of course, the rest is history. Lori would share that when Keith died, he was three weeks away from being invited to join the Grand Old Opry, but he never knew it. He would have never suspected this in his life. This is the greatest honor for me to accept this along with my children, Jesse Keith Whitley, Morgan Whitley. We have been through a lot together in remembering Keith and loving Keith and missing Keith. And my whole family, we've all missed him together. Whitley, Jerry Lee Lewis, and the man who signed Keith to a record deal, Joe Galante, were all inducted on October 16th. Garth Brooks, Ricky Skaggs, and Mickey Guyton were the featured performers. I'm Billy Dukes for Taste of Country. Thanks for watching, and thanks for subscribing.